This is Tracy Hall and I'm talking again today about adolescence and I'm going to focus on another component of our um, Rock Prairie Middle School which is our focus on creativity and I want to begin by thinking about the adolescent with you. So there's a lot of conversation about how adolescents are risk takers and sometimes that's blamed on hormones but we know that in reality there's just this big brain change that's happening during adolescence and although we can think about it maybe as being a change that happens in order to get to adulthood I think like any other stage in childhood um, or in humanhood if you would um, that we need to consider why is it valuable um, to the child or adolescent at that time and so if you think about what is the purpose of adolescence um, from a um, evolutionary perspective, adolescents need to move out into the world. They need to risk leaving the place where they feel most safe. Um, if you think about any time you've gone through change in your life, um, you know it's a big deal to not be with the same people anymore, uh, to not live in the same home, and we ask that of people at this stage in their lives. So I think risk taking has value in that way. Um, the other thing um, that risk taking lends itself well to is creativity. So in order to put take a bunch of ideas and put them together in a different way. Um, I need to take a little bit of a risk. I need to think differently and put myself out there. And I think adolescents are really um, very capable of that. And it turns out um, that creativity and novel ideas are, are something that happens for mammals in this stage of life in general. Um, I'm gonna take you into my goat world for a moment. I keep goats. And there are some studies that have been done on herds of goats that are kept together consistently in the West. And when they studied these goats, they discovered that young goats, adolescent goats, learn about the herd behavior from their mothers. But another thing that happens and that ends up changing and strengthening the herd is that these risk-taking adolescent goats discover new things and risk things like um, some of them discovered these little nests that um, because mice had lived in them were full of nitrogen and the baby goats tried they were adolescent goats they tried eating them um, and they were good for the goat the goat liked them and the goats taught their mothers and then the mothers taught the rest of the herd. So we think this is likely a characteristic of mammals that having this stage of childhood where you're ready to take more risks, uh, but you're still in a protected um, world because you're still part of the herd, you haven't needed to go out on your own yet. Um, or if you would in our example, right, it's the child in the family still with parents who are there and concerned for them or and guides at their school that are supporting them. Um, they're able to take risks and um, have creative ideas if we give them an atmosphere that supports them in following their um, lines of thinking, of questioning what's happening, a, a place where they can put different ideas together and then present them to interested adults. Um, so their curiosity and creativity can be a real tool for learning during adolescence.